Divine Plus Size Beauty. It's me, Joyce. And coming to you with a fall and winter look. I almost said the book, but we just going to stick to book. Because I don't know what I'm going to come up with. But we will be uh, diving into the Culture 2 palette. I haven't done a review on this palette yet, but I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. All right. So, there I have a I have a theme in mind. Remember a couple of years ago the color Oxblood was very popular as far as um y'all my face is dry. I got I while I'm talking, I got to be putting something on. Y'all know same old same old. Now, okay, let me finish this first thought. You remember the color was Oxblood color. Well, the that color is actually coming back in, but a, a tad bit lighter. So, maybe it's probably going to be called Bloodhound. I don't know. I'm just playing. Um, but the Ox Blood color is like a, a, a deep cranberry color. Or more of a blood color. So, maybe the color... That I keep seeing. I keep seeing like an ox blood color in fashion. And it just gave me an idea for a makeup look. So that's what I'm going to be focused on. Y'all, my face was all dry. Y'all be seeing my face. Y'all be seeing the dryness. Mm -hmm. So I have to quell it. I have to quench the thirst. Even though it's fall and winter. But it's still warm here in Texas. I be having to quench the thirst on my skin. <laughs> Let me see what else I need to do. Uh, it's almost time for me to do these brows again. Uh, next, I want to put some lip on. All right, so I'm going to be using the e.l.f. This is the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. And let me see, can I see today? Nope. Girl, this is Rose Envy. <laughs> this is Rose Envy. So let me put Rose Envy on <laughs> Reviver Lip Oil on. Oh. Oh. I don't need y'all judging me. Oh. For us dry girls, it's a mess. All right. Uh, next, I'm going to put my Holy Hydration Gel Yeah Moisturizer on top of. That was this e.l.f. Uh, Triple Bounce Serum. I've went over these products. Y'all can find them in the description box. But, yeah. Face is really dry. And it be needing... Girl, it be needing, it be needing, it be thirsty. That's the only thing I need to be thirsty is my face, nothing else. Hello, somebody. I'm going to let that dry down and then I'm going to put my, I'm still wearing, y'all still wear sunscreen even in the fall and winter months. Mm-hmm. Y'all see my hair? I just felt like pulling it back. I didn't want to do a lot. So, um, I'm going to let this uh, gel, yeah, moisturizer soak in, and then we'll come back. Oh, you know what? While I'm doing that, while I'm letting that soak in, I'll go ahead and start on my brows. Now, uh, what's really surprising to me, y'all, is that... I'm doing another talk through video, makeup look, elf brow lift. Y'all know what it is. It's clear. Mine's is a little cloudy because I left the top off of it, child. Mm -hmm. I left the top off. Being lazy one day and left the top off, girl. But it's still good. You better use it. You better use it. Unless you got the money to go buy it more. Girl, it's tight over here. So I have to 
I left the top on, girl. I just got to use it. I just got to use it. It still works. The blood still works. Ooh, y'all. Girl, what is it about me and, and Yeshua the Christ, honey? Girl, he good all the time. And I don't mind telling nobody about it. It's the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not, if you don't know Yeshua the Christ, girl, all I can tell you is that he's good and you may want to get to know him. Next is the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Espresso. I done showed y'all how I done tunneled this out. So I'm going to try and go real fast through this part. Ooh, look how bushy them brows is. They really done growed in. Which I like. But come on, y'all. Y'all ain't got to be that bushy. Y'all ain't got to be that bushy. But they are. <laughs> It'll be all right. Trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. That's why you go back and clean up everything. So these are like really, really bushy. And um, I don't really think the thin brow look is in anymore. Do y'all? Not for me. I think it's personal taste, though. It just depends on if that's what you like. See, I know we have different trends that come in and out. But I think one thing to be safe is to... Uh, identify your own style when it comes to fashion and makeup. I'm just now getting into the style part and still working on that. But the makeup part, I know my style and what I like. And I don't like a thin brow. I no longer like a thin brow. I really like, kind of like uh, bushy bushy brows that are cleaned up. That's what I like. Now, this is real bushy, but I'm saying you got to start somewhere. So, let me get in. Let's get some concealer. Concealer. And conceal these brows. All right. Elf Hydro Camo Hydrating Camo Concealer. As always. But sometimes I do switch it up. So. This is when your brows are doing entirely the most. And you come in and clean them up. Now. Y'all. I, I did a, a live What's today? Today is Friday. So I did a live this week doing my makeup. And uh, even though some of, including myself, found some things funny. Uh, you, look, you were born with the faith that you're born with. And born with the body that you're born with. And uh, there are some technicalities when it comes to makeup fundamentals. And one fund fundamental, uh, even though it was kind of a jokey joke, but one fun fundamental with uh, concealer is having it one to two sizes uh, above your actual skin, skin tone. And that's a fundamental, and that's, even though you can make fun of it, it's really a, a fundamental practice in makeup artistry. You just don't go, uh, you just don't go too far up in 
you know, for instance, my color. Uh, you just don't go really, really light. You just stick around one to two shades lighter than your skin tone. And if you don't, then you really run the risk of looking geisha-esque. And that is not, I mean, you will see that on the runway. But everyday makeup look is really not what we do or what you want to be. It's really not what you want to be looked at as when you uh, do your makeup. You really need to stick with the general rule of one to two shades uh, lighter than your skin tone. For real, for real. We can make fun of it. We can joke, roast, and gag about it. But if you want to be looked at as a serious makeup, even a makeup lover or makeup enthusiast, you get those things down first. Now, I'm sorry. I got quiet. I had to make sure this was, and then when you do that, uh, we don't do the halo brow anymore. And if you do it, cause sometimes I still do it, but when you do, you just really need to, um, blend it in really, really good, you know? Blend it in really, really good. Don't just leave that halo because they don't, people don't do halo brow anymore. You know, you understand what I'm saying? They just don't do it. So, uh, this is me not trying to tell you that you can't do it because it's obvious that I just did it, but it's not, it's not stark and you also need to Usually they use halo brow just to clean up brows. They don't use it to um it's not a part of the makeup itself. You're just using it to clean the brow up. You understand? Okay. So yeah. Let's get some more some of this. So yeah, you can you you can do that step, but just blend it down. Now, so there you can you can still use that step to clean up your brow, but just blend it down. And y'all, I don't know how many times we done went over this, and these brows are. I mean, I could have done better, but. Um, I'm not really not worried about it. Brows are not sisters. Heck, sometimes they not even cousins, okay? Now, ooh, last one. Ooh, I found my hair. I was like, where's my hair so I can put my ponytail? <laughs> so I can put my ponytail, there you go. All right, uh, let me use, I don't, I got to stop using the one size pink on, uh, for anything other than under eye concealer because it's running out. So I'm going to use the one size in translucent to set. To set. And then we're going to get in this palette and get to working on some color. Y'all, I do this. I really do enjoy playing in my makeup. Sometimes I don't, if my depression is acting up, sometimes I don't get a chance to play in it and then I'll be trying to make up for lost time. And uh, I think that's about what I'm doing right now. It's uh, making up for lost time. Even though I did a little makeup earlier this week. Mm-hmm. Culture 2 palette from Juvia's Place. Now, y'all know what I always do is I always start out with my transition color. Hold on, let me wipe my brush off. I always start out 
with my transition color and that's going to be Soweto. And I'm just going to put it all over the mobile lid and all the way up to the brow bone. We done went through this before. And that's your transition color to just blend everything in. We done went through this before. I've explained it to you before. But that's okay. I'll explain it again. It's already coming together and all I done did is just this part. That's a really good transition color for my skin tone. Alright, so let me wipe my brush off a little bit because now we finna do something real crazy. Okay? We finna do something real crazy. So the next color is... uh. Okay, so this is Dashiki, and uh, so remember the color I was telling y'all about? I was talking about it a little bit, and the ox blood color. So this is my color that uh, I just had a good hankering for. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna concentrate it outside, but I am gonna bring it. All right, so we got the liner on and we got lashes on. So now I'm going to do my Sun Touchables Invisible Sunscreen because the rest of my face has dried down. And I still got to put on primer. But, um, yeah, I love the colors. The colors came out so good on that palette, y'all. So now, just trying to put my little sunscreen on. Let me look down here in my mirror. Because you still need sunscreen, you know? 
Yeah, no spring chicken. So I'm going to be using NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. It had my little, my little stuff had balled up there. Y'all ain't used this in a while. I mean, oh, 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 oh. Are you going to come out, baby? It looked like a <laughs> it looks like a little turd. Okay. Uh, let me run around. And then we're just gonna put this all over the face. And beat it in real good with this brush. I forgot to put on my uh Guess what? That's Untouchables was a primer. It's got primer in it too, so. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Because I can say, I just put that on and I didn't put my primer on. But Suntouchables has primer in it. That Oh Suntouchables has primer in it as well. Good. A little bit more. Let's see. And bring it all the way down. She, she, oh. I forgot how full coverage she was. I'm sorry, y'all. I got gum in my mouth. No, no, I better stick to Elf to lighten it. And while that sets, then I'll go and do, and this foundation unturned powder, 
powdery. I'm going to do my uh, contour. Is there a NYX contour? I don't think I have a NYX contour. Yes, I do. I got a NYX bronzer. Boo. Boo. We got a NYX bronzer. Buttermilk bronzer in the color Better Than You. Butter Than You. Butter Than You. Girl, I'm butter than you. I'm butter than you, butter than you. She don't play. You see? Butter than you. And You see her? And carve down this forehead a little bit. She's so pretty. Ooh. I'm starting to see signs of aging and wrinkling right here. And um, when I, I was doing makeup and that's how I, I caught it. And I was like, <gasps> wrinkles. Yep, I got some wrinklage under the neck. And then I had to think back, girl, you're 49 years old. You can't say, you know, wrinkle free forever something gonna come in there and yeah we got wrinkles up under the neck so but that's not why i'm doing this i'm doing this because i'm fat and i need to slim down my face but yeah look can y'all see it you got to make sure you blend your Blenders. Blend it out. Blend it out. So, you see, there are things age happens. Uh, you might be overweight like I am, but I, I'm working on it. And so, when you work on stuff, you have to accept yourself. That's that's the that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Self acceptance. You know, everybody doesn't have uh, the standard of beauty that they want you to have. But if you don't, if people don't like how you look, that's their problem. But as long as you're happy, and if you got if you got the money to fix something that you don't like about yourself, then go do it. You know, you gotta live with your body, you gotta live with your mug, you gotta live with you. Other people don't live with you. Now, if some people don't like my look, they say I have a hard face. And sometimes I just be like, you downright lying. <laughs> sometimes I just be like, girl, girl, bye, get out of my face. But I don't let, that doesn't deter me from doing my makeup or deter me from loving myself. Okay? It doesn't. Okay, now it's time. <gasps> Where is it? Where you at? What did I do with her? Okay, here she go. Ult, uh, <gasps> ultra pink. Ultra pink. I think I'm getting hiccups or something. Y'all, I think I'm running out of her. 
and and I'm gonna be mad about it. That ultra pink does something good, and mm. have y'all got that yet? Have anyone else tried it? Let me know down in the comment section if y'all tried one size ultra pink. Uh, I think it does such an amazing job of blurring, of blurring that it's not even funny. And it just, that's what it is. It's the blurring technique, whatever uh, technology, blurring technology they got in this. It is so good. It really is. I mean, for real. For real. So we got that part. Now I need to go back in and contour the nose with the powder. With this same powder. I'm trying to see where's my brush. Where's the brush for it? There it is. We're going to use the bronzer on the nose to contour the nose. I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to. down this side now if you don't want it if you don't want it real harsh then don't do it so heavy handed like me okay I'm trying to think um I don't want liquid blush. Okay, so I'm going to use the Blush Rouge Palette, Volume 1. And I'm actually going to use this color. Now, this color is it's not faint of heart. But we're going to try it. And put some a little bit over here and over here and then I'm going to blend this down okay first I'm gonna blend my nose contour And then I'm gonna take my Sephora. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take my Sephora. And I put some uh, highlight in a few minutes. Yeah, I 
I forgot how that NYX foundation. That NYX foundation was no joke. a Juvia's Place, um, the Royal T number two Juvia's Place, um, loose highlight, salacious, oh no, I don't think it has a name, but this is her, so, let me type over, oh, see, I'm not even going to take any out of the actual container. I'm just going to take it off the top. Oh. Okay, then, oh, that was too much. See? a lot. That's a lot. Okay, let me wipe my hands off. And then I'm going to spray down. And then we're going to get into the lips. So, we just going to knock the dust off of her. Go on here with Morphe. That's what we're going to do. That's going to knock the dust off of her. Where is the fan? Right here. And this is my go-to lip lip combo for the fall. Sephora's Mesquite and Juvia's Place Honey Honey are this is my go-to. I think I'm gonna be wearing this lip combo for I don't know how long. So let's try. Okay, this the lip liner. Hush! Then we're gonna do honey, honey. Okay, stay tuned for the clothes, the clothes and the boot.